Hello, I'm Michael Gross, host of the B&O Railroad Museum Television Network. Today I'm standing next to B&O Locomotive Number 25, one of the world's most recognizable and beloved 19th century steam locomotives. Meticulous photographic research, paint analysis, and archival studies have returned this important piece of Civil War history to as close to its original colors and livery as possible. Let's take a look back and discover this locomotive's historic past. Between 1830 and 1855, the Baltimore and Ohio Railroad increased its track mileage from 13 to 411 miles. New locomotive designs were tested and improved to meet the increasing demands of longer distance travel and steeper grades throughout the mountainous regions of Western Maryland and Virginia. The most popular type of passenger locomotive in the 19th century had a wheel arrangement of four leading wheels behind the cow catcher, four large driving wheels, and no trailing wheels beneath the engineer's cab. Known as a 4-4-0, this locomotive wheel configuration was nicknamed an American type. In 1856, the B&O ordered two identical American type locomotives from the Mason Machine Works in Taunton, Massachusetts. When received in November of 1856, they were numbered 25 and 26. William Mason, who was the founder of the Mason Machine Works, introduced the idea of turning out locomotives of beauty as well as utility. Aside from the graceful lines and decorative elements of this locomotive, a number of important technological advances were incorporated in the design as well. A round smoke box set upon a saddle in front of the boiler and a modified link motion valve gear, which was invented in England by two employees of the Stevenson Locomotive Works, both helped the locomotive gain momentum at an increased rate. It was state of the art for its day. The Mason Machine Works was a machinery manufacturing company located in Taunton, Massachusetts and was in operation between 1845 and 1944. Its core business was making textile machinery, but they also produced printing presses. In 1852, the company expanded by venturing into the locomotive business. Mason's innovative locomotive designs quickly drew praise from railroad engineers and operators and were known to be the easiest engines to repair. His ideas and improvements would later be adopted by other locomotive builders. The company would construct 754 steam locomotives between 1853 and 1889. In 1861, with the start of the American Civil War, Mason accepted a contract from the United States government for the production of 100,000 Springfield-type model 1861 rifled muskets. The company embarked on a large expansion to handle the new contract. However, the War Department eventually decided to cut the contract to only 30,000 rifles. Nonetheless, Mason's contract muskets went into many major battles in the hands of Union soldiers. The locomotive B&O number 25 was delivered to the B&O at a critical time in United States history just prior to the Civil War. The directors of the B&O had little idea what a workhorse this Mason locomotive would become in the years ahead. In his iconic work, The President's Travel by Train, Politics and Pullmans, Author Bob Withers found evidence that B&O No. 25 is the very locomotive that took Abraham Lincoln on his midnight ride from Baltimore, Maryland to Washington, D.C. for his inauguration in January 1861. It wasn't long after Lincoln's inauguration that the American Civil War broke out. The Civil War was the first military conflict in the world in which railroads were used for strategic military purposes. The use of railroads revolutionized the transportation of troops and supplies and seriously affected the outcome on the battlefield. B&O Locomotive No. 25 was used extensively during the war to transport Union troops and supplies. The importance of this locomotive and its impact on the war should not be underestimated.
The locomotive was preserved by the B&O Railroad without its original tender for the 1896 Columbian Exposition. It was again exhibited at the 1904 Louisiana Purchase Exposition. In 1927, the B&O Railroad named the locomotive the William Mason to honor its builder. The William Mason follows the general form of the original number 25, however, it has been rebuilt several times throughout its life. Over the years, the William Mason has been featured in many motion pictures, such as The Great Locomotive Chase, 1956, Rain Tree County, 1957, Wild Wild West, 1998, Tuck Everlasting, 2002, and Gods and Generals, 2003. As one of the B&O Railroad Museum's iconic locomotives, it always has been and continues to be one of the best known locomotives in America. I'm Michael Gross. Thanks for watching the B&O Railroad Museum Television Network. Interested in learning more about the B&O Railroad Museum? Follow us on Facebook and Twitter with daily updates on upcoming events, coupons, photographs, history, and things to do in Baltimore, you'll never be off track.